Just because your plant is growing a certain way doesn't mean you have to let it. What I mean is that if you're not happy with how your plant is growing and whether it's in the wrong direction or it could be fatter when it's going taller, you can change that and you won't kill your plant. You know, for example, with this Monstera, say you wanted to chop off a leaf, it's not going to die, it'll be fine. It will just decide to grow in a different way. And sometimes pruning your plant can be really good for its health. It's something that gardeners do all the time with both inside and outside plants. So let's take a look at Monstera, otherwise known as Chaz. He comes sold from Patch on this moss pole. He's not actually part of the plant and actually he's tied up to grow upwards. But if you had, say, a large space that you wanted filling, you could release him from the pole and he could grow more naturally in a kind of bushy shape. You just trim him as you want and he'll grow thicker outwards rather than upwards. And Rapunzel is a golden pothos, which means that she naturally climbs. But that means you can make her naturally climb wherever you like. Perhaps you fancy to see her nice leafy stems across the back of your bed or over a shelf or tumbling over a bookshelf. This is all possible, just put her where you want and if you need picture hooks or string, she'll learn to adapt to do that too. What I'm trying to say is don't be scared of training your plants to grow in the way you want them to. After all, they're your plants, grow them how you like. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about making your own fertilizer, pesticides and fungicides.